social media trend might be behind it. They're warning the owners of Kias and Hyundais that thieves might be targeting your vehicles. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer, live at St. Pete Police Headquarters. So why Kias, why Hyundais, Aaron? Well, Cynthia, police tell us that thieves have figured out a way to basically hotwire these cars using this, just a cell phone charger, and we're told the damage that they can cause is very expensive. All right here is from my back window. Broken glass. That's all that was left of Teresa Jones's Kia Soul. My mind at that point just got blown. Like, are you kidding me? That was in Minnesota a few weeks later and 1,500 miles away in St. Pete. Looked outside and saw the uh, car was gone. And Harmon Handy's Kia Sorento was stolen too. It's the most frustrating part about it is just how pointless it is. You know, that the only reason to do it is just to grab the car and trash it. Investigators say it's no coincidence both stolen cars in these cases are Kias. They're finding a way to bypass the ignition of the car uh, through the steering column, and it's not sophisticated. It's a mechanical hack. And they don't need a key or a fob to do it. Officers say it can be done to some newer model Kias and Hyundais. Car thieves in Milwaukee figured it out first and posted it on TikTok and YouTube, triggering an illegal new social media trend called the Kia Challenge. It's quite alarming. Um, our numbers have gone up significantly, and um, it's got our attention. Since July 11th, there have been 56 cars stolen in St. Pete. Nearly half are Kias and Hyundais. Detectives say the criminals are mostly under 18 years old. They're looking for three things. Looking for a ride, they're looking for money, and they're looking for a gun. Police are urging Kia and Hyundai owners to consider buying a steering wheel lock similar to these. You thought you need that key fob to start it, and apparently you don't. As for Harmon Handy, he's out $7,500 in repairs, and he doesn't know when he'll get his car back. Well, I'm driving cars without air conditioning right now, 97 pickup, so... Yep. Trying to get a 96 Saturn working that doesn't have AC, too. So. Yeah, and that's a tough thing to deal with in the summertime. He just wants his, his normal car back. Now, Kia and Hyundai told Car and Driver magazine that beginning with the 2022 models, uh, this type of problem is no longer going to be an issue. They, that thieves can't steal cars uh, that beginning with the 2022 model in this same manner. However, because of the number of cars that are already on the road that were purchased pre-2022, uh, Cynthia, police believe that this is going to continue to be a problem. They're going to continue to see this trend for maybe the next decade or so. I just hate the way social media gets used sometimes. I mean, it's just um, so irresponsible, you know, the fact that kids learn this stuff and can do it. But anyhow, another subject. Thank Absolutely. you, Aaron. President Bob